Hi, beautiful people. Welcome to Teach Miss Campbell. My name is Miss Campbell and I'm a second grade teacher. Uh, today, we are going to learn a simple step-by-step -step tutorial how to include Bitmojis into your Google Classroom. So I hope you're ready to learn all about including Bitmojis into your Google Classroom. I'm going to share my screen with you right now. As you see right now, my classroom is archived because I am finished with distance learning. It was an amazing experience. I learned so much about technology that I'm here to share with you all. So I already have emojis here, right here. You'll see there's a star, the medal. I have some hearts, I have buses, I have videos, silly faces. And the reason I did that was because I was trying to help my students just figure out things and have some little fun in Google Classroom. It gets a little boring just doing work. So you'll see, so you'll see that I have hearts, hang out with Ms. Campbell and your friends on Zoom, a field trip to the Smith Center. I use a school bus to indicate our, in, indicate our field trips. We have um, tongue twister challenge on Flipgrid. And a lot of students did complete a lot of stuff, did not complete a lot of stuff during the end of the school year. But let me tell you before, the, like a few weeks before, students were completing work. As you see, 15 turned in out of 12 and some students were completing homework packets. And so my students were doing a lot of good stuff and I'm super proud of them because they were actually super engaged in our distance learning and I'm super proud of them for trying their best. So let's get started with putting our emoji. So I'm going to restore it and right now it's at nighttime so I know no student is looking at this and if they are, I mean, it's cool. Let's restore so that yeah, let's restore. Yep, I'll get to interact so that I can show you the features of how it looks, okay? All right, so first you have to click the button create. So I click the create button and I'm going to say I would like to have an assignment. So I click assignment and I title. The title could be virtual field trip to Bahamas. Island of Bahamas, right? <laughs> I love virtual field trips and I created a lot of them in my class. So after that, you put your title, your instructions, you can tell your students, please click on the Google Slides link to take you to the virtual field trip. Then you want to include your emojis, right? So you're going to right click the left button that says edit at the top corner. Then you'll scroll down all the way to the bottom where it says emoji and symbols. And you'll go ahead and see all your emojis are there. Now I have a MacBook Air and so that's why I have this feature. I hope PC Windows have this feature as well because it's super cool. You can click any feature that you want. And if you can't find it, you can search. You can say a bus and look, a school bus pops up. And you can play around with it. You can you can play around with it by searching if you want a tree because you're going to the Bahamas, which is island. And if you, want to, if you want to copy your emoji, you can drag your cursor mouse over the emoji, then right click and copy the image. Then you can right click and paste, or you can hold down the two buttons, command V and it paste. And if you don't like that option, you can always go to the top left corner where it says edit and scroll down and click paste. And look, you have beautiful palm trees where students can enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet tutorial. It's super simple to include emojis into your Google Classroom. And you can do this anywhere, any document. You can include it in your Microsoft Word. You can include it into Google Slides. It's super easy. All you have to do is follow the same steps. All right. So that's it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to turn on the notifications for more amazing videos. Bye bye.